7 best advice with regards to the use of bromocryptine, commonly sold as Palodel. So in this video, you're going to have that aha moment when you'll be like, oh, is that why I feel sleepy? Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Trust me, you have something amazing coming your way. Do not stop here. Keep on watching to the very end of this video. If you're a patient watching this video like you're currently taking bromocryptine, Oh, you are in the right place at the right time. And if you're a healthcare provider, your clients are going to thank you when you share this information with them. And most times I know we don't have time to share all this information. You can refer them, refer them back to my video to get this amazing value. Bromocryptine is known as a dopamine receptor stimulant. Dopamine is responsible for that feeling of you want to eat, you want to have sex or whatever you want to do so when it is stimulated these feelings can be heightened watch keep on watching i'm going to mention this again later on in the video bromocryptine also helps to reduce prolactin and also reduce blood growth hormone levels hence it's used in treating hyperprolactinemia prolactinomas agromegaly, parkinsonism, galactoria or hypergonadism in infertility and it's also used for suppressing lactation although it's not the most preferred molecule for that. Before you even commence taking bromocryptin, it's important to inform your prescriber if you are a nursing mother, if you're pregnant, if you have fainting migraine, like that migraine that makes you feel like fainting or you have uncontrolled hypertension also, if you have galactose intolerance, specify that when you meet your prescriber. Moving on to the side effects that are very common with bromocryptine. When taking bromocryptine, the side effects vary in that if you're taking it for Parkinsonism, the side effects you experience may be totally different from when you're taking it for infertility. When taking bromocryptine for infertility, especially taking it at bedtime, you heard me, at bedtime. Yes. <laughs> My son said yes. <laughs> when taking bromocryptine at bedtime for infertility, the most common side effects you may experience includes headache, constipation, nausea, and vomiting. There are several other side effects associated, but they are not limited to these ones. And they include runny nose, dizziness, fatigue, hair loss, increased libido, to mention but a few. Let me know the side effects you have experienced while on bromocryptine or the common side effects you keep on hearing from your clients that are on bromocryptine. And while you're there in the comment section, don't forget the subscribe button. I really appreciate my 200 subscribers. You guys are the real MVPs. Keep on growing this family. We have enough space to accommodate everyone. Let's share this information. Let us give the love. Your pharmacist definitely cares. Okay, enough rambling. <laughs> With regards to the best advice, the first one is if you have peptic ulcer disease, liver disease, or dementia, it is good to specify this when you are being prescribed this medication. Especially peptic ulcer disease, if once you experience gastrointestinal bleeding, please, sorry, like run, boss, to the hospital. Gastrointestinal bleeding is not a good experience. So when taking this medication, if you experience that, kindly report promptly to the hospital second advice is that if you have Reynolds syndrome that's that feeling of cold or numbness in your fingers please specify this to your prescriber and if you if you eventually experience it or before you even you before you do try to wear warm clothing like cover your hands with gloves thirdly for the first few days of taking this medication always monitor your blood pressure you may experience hypotension when taking this medication hence they need to be careful when standing up or sitting up from a lying position you really have to do all those with care fourthly you may experience sudden onset of sleep like i said it depends on what you're using bromocryptine for so if you are experiencing sudden on onset of sleep 
please report back to your prescriber if it becomes unbearable and you should know that you should avoid operating heavy machineries or even driving if you are experiencing excessive sleepiness fifthly you may experience increased urges if you're a gambler then you most likely be gambling the more if you are, if you're hypersexual definitely due to increased libido you're going to be here and there and if you're a binge eater food you like you resort to food for your emotions help you're not left out so caregivers need to be aware of these increased urges that are due to bromocryptine sixthly if you react to egot products like your somatriptan used for treating migraine you shouldn't take them with bromocryptine because it will simply increase the toxicity of this medication it is super important to remember this the seventh advice i have for you today is that if you are taking bromocryptine it is best to be placed on a form of contraceptive but oral contraceptive will simply increase the concentration of prolactin so it's not the best um, option if you're on contraceptive while taking bromocryptine i hope you've gotten value from this video as usual this is pharmacist claire bringing you great information about your medication because guess what i care <laughs> and i love my job i love my profession thank you so much i'll see you in the next video